<clears throat> evening folks it's uh tuesday evening about eight ish or so here in new england more like northwestern vermont i mean i'm sorry new hampshire just moved here not too long ago um this is the second video i'm going to explain a few things about the last video one i'd like to apologize to everything tumblers tutorials because before I was calling them epoxy tumbler tutorials but the Facebook page is actually everything tumble tumbler tutorials it's a tongue twister I'm sorry um, I did have some issues after I got done filming um, apparently when I was shutting things down somehow either me or my cat unplugged my turners and I got up 20 minutes to a half hour later to check on them and they weren't spinning so I'll show you what happened there and explain that I think I actually saved everything I would show you my daughter's tumbler that that was part of that video but she's using it in her bedroom and I'm not going to take the time to go beat on her door to go grab it I will show you the two jars that I was able to still to save I'm not going to do anything with those tonight, but I will show you them. I'm going to turn another jar and work on that one. Then after I put vinyl on all three of them, then I'll come back and I'll do a whole, you know, I'm going to cover them all up. Um, still haven't got the whole, still looking into editing software and how editing goes, make things easier. A um, couple other things. Somebody on one of the Facebook pages was asking if, Anybody uses those silicone mixing cups, and if so, how do you clean them? Well, I have two dirty ones here, and I'm probably going to show you guys tonight how I clean them. I'm not saying it's the correct way, the proper way, but it's what works for me. Um, I did a wood burning today for I done for a cat shelter. Um, I have a good friend that's a volunteer there, and for the last two, three years, I've made plaques as they needed, as people donate money to them. They uh, dedicate certain rooms, certain aspects of the shelter to them. I end up doing wood burnings with some sort of saying, thanking them for their generosity. And usually put some sort of, whether it be a business logo or somebody's personal to kind of represent them. I did that today. I don't have that in front of me to show you, but again, I tell you I do paint pours also. I've done some on some vinyl records. I took one of the vinyl records that I had turned into a clock I added some vinyl to that today. Um, I'll show you that. I'll show you a painting I did probably seven, eight years ago, an acrylic painting. So let me start with showing you the record in my painting. So let's go up here. I'm sorry if the light is affecting it at all, or if you can see or can't see. Let's see if I can take my light and put it in a different angle but it's on a vinyl record it's a clock and I did an Alice in Wonderland theme Alice in Wonderland theme piece of vinyl could I use a different color would it have stood out better maybe but it still looks cool somebody might like it this is a painting that my wife snagged that I did my one of my aunts did a at home paint and sip and just put up a still life and there was really no instructions people just went ahead and painted this is what I came up with I built the frame out of pallet wood um, as I told you before I do things out of pallet wood let me put my light back up let me uh, swing back around here sit down get into focus I'm using a GoPro. I don't know if anybody else doesn't use a GoPro. If anybody can help me with a setting on the roundness, I guess they call it a fisheye or something. Um, is there a way to make it look flat? So also the colors I'm going to use today on the jar, are, and I'm going to use mica powder, but I am going to mix it with epoxy, is ruby red. Lavender. Let's see if I can. There 
go. Um, C. Line up. Not very good handheld. And magical violet. I do use Decor Raw Micas. It's the only ones I've used so far. Um, so let me get the camera mounted so we can. Oh, yeah. The jars that I did last time. So. Here is the one that I used, the mica alcohol that I made, where I took mica powders, mixed them with, oh, maybe if I get up out of the light. Um, so this is the top side. When I woke, when I came to check on my turners, this was the top side. So what happened in that 20 minutes or so, turn it it all pulled and puddled and looks like that on that side which is very cool so I'm still going to use it I don't think it ruined it too bad and there's not a big lump there so and this one over here somebody told me it looked like a dinosaur egg which I thought was kind of cool this is one where I just took the powder and kind of Took uh, little eyedroppers and blew it on. That was the top side. This was the bottom side. Um, it still looks cool. So I'm gonna probably put some sort of dinosaur vinyl on that one just cause somebody thought it looked like a dinosaur egg. And again, I do use super clear, although I am almost out, very close to being out. And I plan on, I just ordered I haven't found a whole lot on it, but it says it's odorless, and because I do do it in my house and in my kitchen, because um, I don't have a craft room, I have to pick, set everything up, tear everything down. I think it's Cimarron's. Uh, Foxy, I ordered a gallon of it, ordered it through Lowe's, and I'll probably do a review on it when that comes in, in a video. But until then, let me uh, get my camera mounted and we'll get started sorry if it's going to take me a minute here my mount hasn't been cooperating with me lately I'd like to thank everybody that has subscribed to the channel so far. And if you haven't, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, notifications. So again, I said I had two of these silicone cups that are dirty. Some of you want to know how I clean, or want to know how they get clean. This is how I do it. So I turn my cups inside out. I peel away what I can of the old stuff. Then I grab some paper towels. I rub an alcohol. And I just clean the outside of them, or sorry, the inside. And when I'm done, I turn them right side out. See, and it comes right off. This had corn mica, the name of the color, I think it was corn. And the alcohol, lift it right up, it'll peel up. Takes a little bit, especially if you've already used mica in it. I usually don't put colors in these, I just use these to mix 
my epoxy. You can see it's coming clean. But for time purposes, I'll go into my other one, which is clear, which will clean up a little easier. Um, I take my time, clean those off. So this one here is going to be the one I'm going to use because I do have markings. Makes it easier to see when I fill my cups. Most of the time, it kind of peels and flakes right off. The alcohol just helps it come off a little easier. Get into where the numbers are. Peels right away. I usually do this the next morning after everything has dried. The one with the gold in it's been probably about a week since I used it. So then I just turn it right side too. Check to see if there's anything on that side. And now take a dry one. We'll dry it off. And I'll mix. So let me get started by mixing up a quick batch of epoxy. I'm not very uh, good at seeing stuff here, so I'm going to go 20 mLs of part B again. I know people say I should mix, pour each one into a separate cup and then mix them, pour them both into a different cup. And I like putting B in first because it's not as thick. And that way A doesn't like actually stick so bad to the bottom. So sometimes I'll put this in warm water to help it pour. Takes away some of the bubble, bubbles, bubble, bubbles, 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 bubbles a little easier. And so I'm going to try to divide probably close to 20 mils between the four colors that I have, or maybe a little more, because it's probably going to take about 10 to do my flood coat on this. And I do, it is a uh, gloss or semi gloss finish. I usually like using flat. I think epoxy sticks to it better. Um, so I use plastic silverware that we've collected at trips to places at convenience stores when it comes with your meals that we sometimes don't need. So let me go ahead and quickly mix this up. I was buying some, or when I was purchasing this, I thought I bought uh, inks, alcohol inks, but I bought resin dye instead. I don't use them very often because they're very translucent and I don't do river pours yet or anything of that nature. And so going from there, let's give this good mix. I'll probably do my flood coat first, let it spin and even out while I mix up my micas afterwards. That way I know how much I can mix with my micas. Um, leave a comment in the bottom what type of mica powder you use. Um, I got this stuff from Amazon. I got it well over two years ago when I started doing resin work a um, bunch of molds I don't do a whole lot of mold stuff right now because now I'm into this tumbler spinning I scrape the bottom I scrape the sides really well Give it a good mix. Figured I hold it in my hand. The hand kind of helps warm up the epoxy, makes it mix better. Helps get rid of some of the bubbles. I know when I put this in water before I've mixed them, it comes out almost like glass and clear. I don't usually have to wait too bad for the 
bubbles. So we're going to let that set for a moment. I'm going to put on my glove. So I'm going to turn on my middle turner here. I plug it in. I did not plug it in. Give me a moment, folks. It helps if you plug in your turner. So unorganized. I don't need that one spinning. I don't need that one spinning. I need that one spinning. I do have my threads taped off with electrical tape when I sprayed the spray paint. And it also is gonna help when I put my epoxy on. Now I am right-handed, so I'm hoping I'm not gonna be too much in front of the camera with it. Well, let's see what happens. Like I said, I'm not a professional. I'm not telling you how to do it. I'm just showing you what I do. And a lot of times I don't have a plan. I just know that I'm not going to be able to make another video until probably Saturday evening. I work midday Wednesday to late evening on Wednesdays. I work 13 hours on Thursday. I probably will work really late on Friday, Saturday. Hopefully I'll have off. So I'll be able to hopefully get another video in. I like starting on the bottom, like I said, kind of get a decent little coat rolling. I'll go around a little bit this way. Probably not going to use a whole lot for flood coat because I have four colors and that will uh, put a lot of epoxy on the jar. So, I'm going to go with a fairly thin coat, but I'm going to try to coat the whole thing really well. So I have two different size arms. I have three quarter inch arms and I have half inch arms. Um, I didn't realize that the footballs don't fit on a three-quarter inch arm when I actually went and bought my materials. So I use my three-quarter inch arms for when I make a, when I have to make up a thing to hold on something where a football don't fit. So let's try to divide all of this epoxy in between these four colors. Like I said, I got ruby red here. I got magical violet here. I got lavender here. And I got C blue over here. Yeah, that's going to be perfect. And this is just going to be drizzled in no particular order. Let's see, since it's not a whole lot left in the bottom of this. I'll use this one, two stir in the blue. Now when I paint colored these, I just said hell with it. I'm just going to paint each jar a different color. Wasn't sure what colors or what plan I actually had to go with any of them. Now this C color kind of has an iridescent 
green to the blue, which is probably for like a coral purpose of some sort in the sea. So there's that one. Red. If I gotta run and go get one of my molds, I have some smiley face molds that I could always put any extra that I have. I'm trying to gonna keep this one short, but I don't know how well I'm gonna do. I'm already 20 minutes into this. See, this is a. I don't know if you can tell, but. Kinda has a I'll try to get this so the forks don't tip my cups over. Again, I'd like to thank everybody that did subscribe, has viewed. Appreciate if somebody shares, maybe with your friends. If you subscribe to me, I will definitely look into subscribing to somebody. So let's start with the ruby. Now I'm just gonna kinda get it drizzling. And I'm actually gonna spin it the other way to start with. No particular rhyme or reason. I'm just gonna send them. As you can see, a fair amount of epoxy is going on. That's why I didn't do a big flood coat. We'll see how this all swirls up. Like I said, these jars are upcycled jars from old fruit containers. Let's go back to some. Kind of just kind of going between. I'll eventually overlap them. Like I said, no rhyme or reason. Got a fortune cookie the other day that said, don't judge artwork by its defects. So, not going to try to judge the artwork by the defects, if there is any. Something to go on the bottom here because mica powders do not like to stick to edges. Okay, that's what I've have found in cases. Now the tape I do have around the threads, I will take and pick I'll take it off as it spins probably in about half hour 20 minutes I'm sorry half hour 40 minutes
This one's just a real quick, easy, simple one. I won't decide what I'll use for a design for vinyl till it completely comes out, see what it looks like. Try to see you got some movement going. Is it going to blend together? Possibly could. Do I have some good swirls going right now? Absolutely. Let's spin it the other way. See what goes on. We'll throw some heat to it. Some oh, sorry, I reached in front of the camera. Got some really good swirlings going on down here towards the base. It comes around each time. I'll be the kind of person I'll spin it around three or four times, opposite directions. Some around here. Again, when you don't have a plan, you just make things happen. I could take it off and get some vertical movement going. But I'm gonna. Seems to be smoothing out pretty good. Let's turn it again the opposite way. Or I can stop it for a moment. Let some of the bottom drip off. Let it pull to one side. Kind of like it did on the other thing. A couple of drips happen. Get some of that excess off there. And now, wait till that part comes back to the top. Which one is the one I want? Here it is. Let me see. I stop right here. I know it's some odd stuff I'm doing, but we'll see what happens. Like I said, a lot of this is experimenting for me. On jars, it's nice to experiment. Tumblers, probably a little more of a plan than the jars. hear anything in the background it's my wife watching some TV and grab the heat gun again like I said I stay a good 12 14 inches above sometimes I feel make sure I'm not getting too hot it's looking kind of cool Maybe let it go for 10 15 minutes, letting it thick up a little bit. Maybe drizzle some more on. But I like some of the patterns that's coming out. Like that down here is a lot of red. Probably just do a quick drizzle, drizzle. There's a few. Uh, 
so uh, YouTubers I follow quite frequently and Drizzle Dizzle Dizzle is one I'm gonna give him a shout out it's Duncan's airbrush custom Duncan's custom airbrush check out his site he's funny 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 um, he does really nice work great tutorials another one not only is the Facebook page called everything tumblr tutorials but her uh, YouTube channel is everything tumblers tutorial by Rebecca I think Escott or es yeah Escott I think but go check her out she does some nice ones um, wish I could remember a few others off the top of my head but yeah Not sure what this is resembling at all or coming out to be, but the swirl's coming out really nice. Some of the turquoise is throwing, showing through. Will it show through in the next couple hours? If it wasn't such a pain to take my camera down, I'd show you the bottom side of the jar where the mica powders don't like to stick. Kind of separates. We'll take a sprinkle dinkle. Yeah, I said it sprinkle dinkle. Whatever that means. Be nice when I start editing videos, I can get rid of some of the boring commentary I can speed up things if anybody out there has a particular um, editing program that they like to use it's simple for somebody that's not very technical savvy as myself that'd be great drop me a message if you do have a YouTube channel link it in the comments below so other people can find you, follow. Hoping to get a little more elaborate each time my setup comes up. I'll try something a little different. I do have some other things up my sleeve using yarn, embroidery floss, speaker wire, all with tumblers or jars. Yes, I said it's speaker wire. I think we're gonna leave that alone, let that spin. It's looking kind of purdy-ish. Get it to spin the opposite way. Again, these jars had cut fruit in it. Um, I still gotta spray paint the covers might put a sticker on the cover or vinyl. Let me take down the camera, see if I can get you a little close up. Cause then we're gonna call it an evening, folks. See on the bottom how I say it? Separate, you can see the turquoise through. So. And if somebody has something, an easier way to do something, something that might be a little kind of cooler, leave a comment down below. I'm always up for suggestions. I did build my own turner. Let's see if I can give you a somewhat of an overview. Yeah, it's kind of messy. But again, I try to load everything onto here to take in and out from where I store all my stuff. Um, I do like super clear, but again, I am going to try a new epoxy as soon as it comes in. 
um, only because they say it's no odor. It is a tabletop epoxy. It says it can still be used with micas and pigments and for other resin art purposes. So we're going to give it a shot. The next video I have will probably have something to do with putting the vinyl on these and putting the a top coat on. But this is the Well, let's say good night. And until next time, everybody happy spinning. And see you later.